Hi guys, welcome to Linksar YouTube channel. My name is Ramshra and I am your online instructor. So what's in this video? In this video, I will tell you how to work with diff command in Linux. So guys, let's begin the topic. But before start the lab session, we have to understand few points, which is what is diff command and their use cases. So diff command in Linux is used to compare the content of two files line by line. And if the differences is found, then it will list differences along with the line number. It also used to compare the contents of two directories. So for the demonstration purpose, I have one Linux virtual machine where I have installed RHEL 9.0. Point zero. So let's begin the lab session. Guys, this is my Linux terminal and currently I'm using RHEL 9. So firstly, I will show you the OS release version of this machine. So I clear the screen and cat etc read that release. Uh, you can see here I have RHEL 9 on this VM. But before start the lab session, the important thing to remember is that diff uses certain special symbols and instructions that are required to make two files identical. It tells your instructions on how to change the first file to make it match to the second file. So different symbols of diff command output are, they are normally used A. A means it indicates that something has been added. Similarly, we have C. C, it indicates that some text has been changed. We have one more that is D. It indicates that some text has been deleted. So uh, we have the options. We can grab the diff command output in the different formats like uh, uh, normal format, which is the which is the default one and uh, another uh, another option we have context and next one is in fight so we will discuss one by one all so by default diff command display the output in the normal format it means when contents of two files are identical then it will not give in any output but we will get the prompt so let's start diff command example then we will uh, clearly about to know how we will work with all these different three options that whatever we have normal context and undefined so let's start with the diff command example so the first example is compare two files with diff command so let's create two files with some data content so i go with my vim editor for file creation and modification you can go with any editor choice is up to you so i start with first.txt and uh, write down some data like uh, days of week okay s u n d a y sunday monday tuesday okay that's sufficient and similarly i just copy the entire line and uh, from here i make another file second dot txt paste it save and put from there okay so now if i run the ls command i have two files first uh, that is first.txt and second one is second.txt now the following is the content of these files that is cat first.txt and cat second.txt okay let's compare the content of these file using diff command so i run the command diff first.txt and second.txt look at that above output confirms that the both files are identical no difference found okay so let's make some changes in the first dot txt so what we have to do i just add dot at the end of the first line then let's see what happened so i open vim first dot txt go to the end of the first line and uh, just add dot save and quit from there okay now i'm going to rerun the diff command one more time so diff look at that first dot txt and second dot txt now we have the differences so in the output 1c1 what does it mean 1c1 means what so 1c1 indicates that the first line of first file need to be changes first line of first file need to be changes to make both files identical so lines preceded by a greater than symbol this one are the lines from the first file so these are represent the first file and greater than symbol represent the second line so less than represent the first and greater than represent the second line or second file sorry so let's roll back the above changes and add new line in second.txt at the end of the file and then run the diff command again so what i'm going to do i i start viam first.txt earlier you now we have we are seeing that this is the c symbol okay so let's see uh, i'm going to remove dot and uh, now I remove the dot from the first.txt and I'm open the second.txt file and add a new world uh, one Monday, Tuesday, set W-E-D-N-E-S-T-A-Y, Wednesday. Okay, 
now save and quit from there now i am going to run the diff command one more time look at that so output of diff command this time indicate 4a5 a means adding the second symbol okay so this indicate that after the fourth line in first file fourth line in first file we need to add another line which to match the fifth line of the second file so we have to add wednesday where in the fourth line of first file that is first.txt okay so this is uh, the meaning of fourth a5 so now we have seen that the output of c and a symbol now move to the next symbol which is d symbol so let's remove tuesday and wednesday from the second.txt file and then try to compare these files one more time so i open second.txt file remove wednesday remove tuesday save and quit from there and uh, this is the first.txt this is the second.txt now in the diff command one more time c now this time we got the symbol d 4d3 so output of diff command 4d3 indicates that we need to delete fourth line in the first file fourth line we have to remove this one tuesday fourth line in the first file to synchronize with the second file at the line number three so line number three we have to synchronize we have to remove this one so this is the meaning we need to delete the fourth line in the first file to synchronize with the second file at the line number three so here is the meaning of all three symbols in the diff command that means a for adding c for change and d for delete so now move to the next practical which is diff command output in context format so earlier we got the output in normal format but we can use hyphen c option in the diff command to get the output in context format so let's modify the first.txt and second.txt file to be better understand diff command output in a context format so i open vim first.txt file okay just remove the all lines start with some new data say one then i set linux then i add two two okay then i go with three okay then go f o u r t h fourth and then i said red hat okay now save and quit similarly i just modified file number second.txt remove the older entries and here i put up uh, say one two three a double p apple f o u r t h fourth and fedora okay now save and quit so this is the output of first command this is the output of my second file second file okay so now i'm going to run the diff command with hyphen c option so diff hyphen c diff hyphen c the first file and the second file okay so let's try to understand the output first so first two line represent the file name along with their modification date and time and their time okay so these are the first dot txt these are the second dot txt and three asterisk symbol this one these three asterisk symbol indicate the first file and the three sim hyphen symbol this represent the second file okay then the line this one this is the separator then the next line has three asterisk this one and followed by a line range from the first file in in our case that is one to one to six separated by a comma then four asterisks okay now the, uh, then it shows us the contents of those line if the line is unchanged it is prefixed by two spaces so these are the common where it is not changed so it is uh, it is prefixed by the two spaces if the line is changed however it is prefixed by uh, an inductive character and spaces so every, so every uh, character has its own meaning like in our case we can see the three different characters plus symbol here look at that then we have hyphen or minus symbol here or one more that is extra metal symbol here okay so let's try to understand these three symbol first indicate the first of all we are talking about the first uh, the plus symbol so the plus symbol indicates uh, or, or sorry we can say plus character uh, indicates a line in the second file that needs to be added to the first file so it means we have to add apple in the first file okay second hyphen that is minus that indicates a line in the first file that need to be deleted so we can remove this linux from the first file and the third one is extra metal symbol so this indicate that this line is a part of group of one or more line that needs to be changed from first file as well as the second file 
and after that the lines from the first file there are three dashes look at that this one three dashes then a line range then four dashes this indicates the line range in the second file that synchronize up with our change in the first file okay so this is the diff command output in the context format now move to the next example which is diff command output in undefined format so unified format or sometimes it is called undefined format is hyphen u we can use hyphen u option in diff command if you want to show its output in uh, unified format let's modify of the both file and remove few entries so what i'm going to do i remove the six number of line from both files so i open first dot txt remove the red hat and similarly i go with second dot txt remove fedora now save and quit cat first dot txt cat second dot txt okay so now i am running the diff command with hyphen u option so diff hyphen u first dot txt second dot txt look at that the above output is somewhat similar to the context format but undefined uh, unified format displayed the output in a brief way here first two line indicates that the file name along with their modification date and time the same one okay the three hyphen represent the first file so this is the represent the first file and the three plus symbol represent the second file okay this is the second file and uh, and after two at the rate symbol this one after two at the rate symbol minus one comma five indicates the line from first file this is the from first file and similarly plus uh, one comma five represent the line in the range from second file and the plus symbol look at that here the plus symbol apple indicates this one plus apple indicate that the that this line need to be added in the first line in the first file sorry and the symbol hyphen linux this one hyphen linux or minus linux indicate that this line needs to be removed from first file to make it identical to the second file so this is the kind of uh, this is uh, uh, how we can grab the output diff command output in unified format or undefined format using hyphen u option okay now move to the next example which is ignoring case sensitive while comparing the files so by default diff command is case sensitive and if you want to ignore case sensitive in diff command then we have to use minus i option so let's create two file for better understand so i start with new file that is uh, in my case file a and type linux simple linux and again i make a one more file b but this time uppercase linux now save and quit from there so cat a and cat b now i have two file a and b with linux world so simply i run the diff command without any option let's see what happened diff a and b look at that here we find the difference but if i run the diff command with hyphen i option see what happened diff hyphen i so as we can see in the above output diff command has ignored case sensitive feature when we use hyphen i option okay so this is how you can ignore the cases now move to the next example which is report file are identical with diff command so there can be some situation where we are comparing the files using diff command and, and if content is identical then we want to display the message that the file are identical uh, this can be accomplished by using or passing hyphen s option in the diff command so now let's modify a and b file one more time so i open a file simple type a uh, small line red hat linux and open b file again i type uh, red hat linux save and quit this is my a and this is my b file okay so i just remove the older entry and type some ma same matter in the both file now i'm running the diff command with hyphen s option so let's see what happened so if i say diff hyphen s i got the message files a and b are identical okay so now uh this is this is how we can grab the output from hyphen s now move to the next example which is ignoring space while comparing the file now see what i'm going to do in file a i add some extra spaces between red hat linux world and then try to find out the difference and let's see what happened so i open one more time a file and give some extra spaces save and quit this is my a file this is my b file okay so i have added few extra spaces between red linux world now if i run the diff command it will show me the difference so if i go with diff hyphen a b and b 
so you can find out it's showing me the difference so now we can ignore space in the diff command by using a small b option hyphen b simple c so now no differences if you want to ignore all the white space during the comparison uh, using diff command then we can use hyphen w also w s see file a and b are identical so this is how we can ignore the spaces also now move to the next practical which is compare two directories we can also compare the two directories with the diff command so let's assume we have two directory with the name uh, could be linux and windows so let's see now it, it is not there so first of all i make linux and windows okay now i make tang blank file on each directory so i go with touch command linux file say one two 10 dot txt and similarly for uh, windows directory okay so windows directory okay now let's check the content of both directory so ls linux and lx windows okay so now uh, i have two directory with some blank files let's compare these two directory using diff command so this time i run the command diff hyphen qr and the Linux directory and the Windows directory. So hyphen Q is used to report only when files are different and hyphen R is used to look for the difference in sub directories recursively. Okay, as we get the blank output, it means both the directories are identical. Let's delete file 1.txt from Windows and then try to compare the output. So I am saying rm windows file 1.txt. Are you sure? Yes, I am. Now I run the same command one more time. df hyphen qr. See, I got the message. Above output says that file one dot txt is only present in Linux directory. So this is how you can compare the content of two directory using diff command. Okay, and uh, now move to the last practical, which is compare two files on terminal side by side. So when we use hyphen y option while comparing two files using diff command, then it shows both. Uh, the files on terminal side by side which I like most so I will show you the firstly output cat first.txt we have cat second.txt now I run the command diff hyphen y first.txt and second.txt look at that so our output clearly shows the difference of two files so this is the difference Linux in A and here's they find out Apple in file uh, you can say second.txt and that is in first.txt okay so guys, this is how we can work with the diff command and Linux. And finally, this is the end of this topic. Hopefully you enjoyed and learned new things. Soon I will come up with another new interesting topic. Till then, keep practicing. If you feel something I have missed or you wanted to know more something is, please leave your comment and subscribe my YouTube channel for more updates. If you like this video, please do not forget to uh, like, share and subscribe my channel and press the bell icon button for the latest update. Thanks for watching. Stay safe and goodbye.